Welcome back to A Simple Word, where we speak about the gospel for the coming Sunday. And this week we begin Advent. Always the beginning of Advent looks not first to the coming of the child Jesus, but it looks to the coming of the kingdom, to the second coming of Christ. And in our gospel, we hear Jesus saying to his disciples, be watchful, be alert. And, and these words are, are taken often in a very negative way. Uh, some people are afraid, oh, we, we need to be uh, alert, we need to be awake because Christ is going to come. And, and when, we ju- when we're judged by Christ, it's not going to be very good. And yet, this is not at all what it means. This, is, this be watchful, be alert is not about uh, being afraid of what's going to happen, but rather to be ready to receive the Word of Christ Himself. You know, in the other Gospels, this year we're going to be listening to Mark, but other years we listen to Matthew and to Luke, and they talk about being alert, and they talk about the owner, before he leaves to go on a trip, gives these talents to the, to the others that are his servants, and he wants them to be ready. And we know the story of the talents, that when they, they come back, that some of them have invested well, but there's one person who's very afraid of having invested his money. But in the Gospel of Mark, they don't speak about talents. They they simply speak about the need to be watchful, and they use an interesting term. They talk about it's the gatekeeper who needs to be watchful. What do they mean by this? So I think it's important to look at the first two readings. In the prophet Isaiah, we hear him saying, You, Lord, are our Father. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? He's speaking about a people who are have been in exile because uh, they were not faithful to God. And he says, Return for the sake of your servants. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, tear open the heavens and come down. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. So this is a a word from the prophet Isaiah in which the people are saying they want God to return to them. They recognize that they've been unfaithful and they want God to return. And they said, you, Lord, you're our father. You're, you're, we are the clay, you're the potter. We're the work of your hands. So the people knew that they had been unfaithful to God, but they also knew that God was their God, and they were waiting for him to come back. This is the context in which Jesus, to his disciples, is saying, be awake, be ready, because God is coming back. In Paul's letter to the Corinthians, we hear him writing, uh, I give thanks to you, my God, always on your account. He's, he's saying that he's thanking God because of the people. He says, the grace of God bestowed on you in Jesus Christ, that you've been enriched in him in every way. And he says, you have so many gifts, so many spiritual gifts that you've been given by God. And then it says this, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are just like these Christians. All of us through our baptism have been given the Spirit of Jesus Christ, and in one sense, we lack no spiritual gift. So what are we waiting for? What is this waiting? He says, you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, where everything is revealed, not just uh, uh, for example, that, that we would be a little bit better spiritually, that we would experience greater communion, but that we would experience Christ present in us in the fullest way. So think about all of this when you think of this gospel in which Jesus says to his disciples, be watchful, be alert. You don't know when the time will come. And he uses this image, this parable of a man traveling who leaves his home, and he puts his servants in charge, and it says that he orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Now, it's important to understand that the gatekeeper in the Bible refers to the one 
who is ready for the Lord to come and who protects the home from anything else. So you protect the home from the evil, from the evil one. You, you uh, are ready for God to be made present. In this Advent, what we will be celebrating is that God has invited us to wait for Him with the knowledge that He will reveal Himself, that He's going to come to us in a most beautiful way. I invite you, as you're listening to this Gospel on Sunday, not to think that this is something that is speaking to just to the disciples many years ago, or something that's meant for someone else, a word meant for someone else, but to recognize that Jesus, who was saying this to his disciples, was saying it in a very personal way. And as you listen to this gospel, you can also hear it in a very personal way. It's interesting. He says, well, the person might come at midnight or a cock crow or in the morning. What is he speaking about? You know, at midnight later, he would be in the Garden of Gethsemane. Peter would be uh, doubting him and, and denying him, uh, and the cock would crow. Or in, the, or in the morning was actually the time of Christ's resurrection. And he says, you, you need to be ready because he will be coming. This is not just for the apostles. This is a word for us. And he says to each of us, watch, the Lord is going to be coming. All of us who listen to this gospel on Sunday are gatekeepers. We are people who are to be attentive to Christ as he manifests himself. He's going to be in our Eucharist as we announce the word. He will be in the Eucharist as we receive his body and blood. He will be in the Eucharist in all of the assembly. You know, not too long ago, Pope Francis, when he was beginning the synod, made it very clear, we need to welcome everyone, welcome everyone, welcome everyone. This was not just a politically correct statement. This is an, a, this is an announcement of the good news. Francis is acting as a gatekeeper in which he says all people need to be welcome because in each person, Christ is present. This is, this is a beautiful gift to, to recognize in, in all people that the presence of God, the presence of Christ. And this is a word for us. We are gatekeepers. And if we listen to this word, we might be able to ourselves be open to recognizing Christ speaking to us and, and manifesting himself to us through this Eucharist and through the whole Christian community. Thank you for listening to A Simple Word. And remember, if you like this presentation, please click like. Have a great week.